under the tree. Go break their spirits. On today's episode, we're going back to Tsushima for what is arguably one of the decade's very best action RPGs with a brilliant story, well acted, well produced, and one of the better villains that you've probably seen in a game like this in quite a while. Let's take a look at uh, Kodokan. Outsiders! Send your finest warrior to face me! Murder! Jinnida! I am Haru Nobu Adachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobu Adachi. Ghost of Tsushima released initially in July of 2020 and came back onto my radar just recently uh, when I upgraded my PS Plus account and upgraded to the PS Plus Extra, which was only an another $5 more than what I was already paying. And what I found out is in that extra tier, you get a million free games that are all fairly new. Uh, this is one of them. It behooves me to just say that I am in no way uh, you know, getting any kind of money for for putting this out or talking about PlayStation Plus or its affiliated tier programs, which should be obvious considering the size of this channel, but still wanted to throw that out there. Um, but uh, let's get back to the point, which is this absolutely beautiful, beautiful game. And even as well-crafted and well-developed and well-acted and produced as the story in this game is, there's still the one thing that really makes this game so damn good, and it's the hack and slash melee combat in this. It's so damn satisfying. Like any good game of its genre, Ghost of Tsushima also allows you the opportunity to unlock a plethora of moves and skills uh, via technique points, and you will find a way and a reason to use every single one of these definitely maybe the most important thing that you will learn while playing this game are different stances which uh, you will be given the opportunity to switch uh, in between in the middle of fighting by just holding the R2 button down and then uh, switching to the corresponding stance. It allows for a very unique and smooth style of gameplay in order to switch between different kinds of enemies without having to pause or have a menu break. Like any good game of course though there it's not perfect and uh, when I played this game originally on, on PS4, um, one of the things that uh, basically everybody who played it um, had an issue with was the camera at times can be a real pain in the ass. Um, it's zoomed in quite quite far, uh, quite close rather, and uh, a lot of times you won't know where anything is if you're in a tight space. It can become very difficult sometimes to just figure out where enemies are, even though you know there's ten of them around you, you can only really see two to four of them. Uh, that was something that I hope when I re-downloaded this game uh, via that PS Plus Extra deal on my PS5 and got the PS5 version for it, I was hoping there'd be some options uh, included uh, where you could adjust the camera a little bit unfortunately that is not the case so that's still a thing you've got to kind of deal with if you're going to go back and either replay this game or play it for the first time but it's not it's not it's it, it, in no way is it a game breaker um it's just one of those things that you're just like man it's a little annoying and i wish they'd have fixed it there was something that i didn't notice the first time i played this game that i did recently and it's how small the hands are on all the characters in this game If you have a PS4 or a PS5, I would highly, highly recommend 
playing Ghost of Tsushima. Aside from just how good the game plays and how satisfying the combat is, the story is incredibly memorable, incredibly well acted, and just one of the most fun experiences I've had playing a story-driven RPG in a very, very long time. Um, and if you've already played it, maybe it's time for a playthrough. Now, if you don't have a PlayStation, good news is, is it looks like it's coming out to PC by the end of the year, so something to look forward to. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I appreciate the hell out of it. We'll see y'all later.